going on guys? Welcome back to a special edition of The Right Class. Boy, do we have a treat for you. Today's Friday, April 17th, and today we'll be going over the agenda for today, but before we get into that, I have special news about my co-star. This time he is not sleeping on the job, so therefore I'd like to introduce to you the one and only Phoenix Cole Wright! select one of the multiple choice answers down here. Be sure to hit that uh, turn in button so that you can get those points. Now, um, once you get that done, you are watching the video. A very special edition video, that is. And Phoenix is here to help us with that, right? Yep. So, as we get into uh, the very first assignment for today, um, you have you um, have your math lesson, which is your addition and subtraction practice. I'm going to go over a couple of quick example problems as we work through that. Um, first thing I'm going to do is this subtraction problem here. And so obviously when you subtract, you start on the ones place value and start working your way over. Um, I have 9 minus 9, which equals 0. I have 8 minus 4, which is 4. And then I have 2 minus 7, but I can't take 2 minus 7, can I, Phoenix? So I have to regroup. So I go to my neighbor, and I have an 8 here that becomes a 7. The 2 becomes 12. Now I can minus 12 minus 7, which equals 5. And then 7 minus 1, I can do that. I get 6. And then I have 1 minus 1, which is 0. So therefore, my answer is 6,540. So, there's a subtraction example for you. Make sure you're paying attention to the operation symbol on these. They do change up periodically throughout the assignment. And then I will go ahead and do a quick addition um, practice with you. Uh, first thing we do is 6 plus 5, which equals 11. Regroup my 1 to the next place value. Now I'm working in the tens. I have 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 8 equals 12. I put the 2 down here. I regroup my 1. I have 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 3 more is 7. Then I have 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus 4, which is 7. 5 plus 4, which is 9. And my answer is 973,721. That's a big number in the Phoenix. <laughs> Very big number. So, just a quick review on addition and subtraction. Pretty easy assignment. Make sure you get those done. Make sure you show all your work, all your regroupings. Please, nice, neat handwriting. Make sure that name, date, mailbox number's at the top when you get that sent to me in a picture via email or text message. So, back to the next part of um, your agenda, which is you have a quizzes assignment that you are going to complete. 
and it's over the southeast region, this purple area right here. So we've been studying the southeast region quite a bit before we went on uh, this coronavirus break here. And uh, now we are ready to test on it. I've given you a few days to kind of review that information, make sure that you are well prepared. Um, and you know all the states and capitals have been memorized uh, very well because you know the quiz is, is time. So you've got a little bit of time to pick your answer, but you've got to be able to recall that inf information quickly. So be prepared. Make sure that you study hard. Make sure that you're ready to go. I do give you three chances on the quizzes. I, I made a note about that here. Um, you get three chances to get the best grade possible. Make sure you take advantage of this. Um, I have some people that are uh, only doing the quizzes once. They didn't get a 100%, but they stopped there. You still have two other chances to take it and better your grade to get the best possible grade um, you can um, so that we can get that entered in to the grade book. So, um, like I said, take, take advantage of those three chances. Do your best on those. Be well prepared, and um, you'll be good to go. As far as assignments go, um, I'm not assigning you a reading passage today. The reason for that is I'm giving you extra time to finish your STEM project. I have a few STEM projects turned into me, but I'm still missing quite a few. So utilize this extra time that I'm giving you by not giving you a reading passage to do to put forth, uh, to put towards your STEM project. And uh, that way it can be the best possible STEM project you can produce. Put some time and effort into it. I've got some really cool ones coming in. Um, and so make sure that you utilize that time and, and really think outside the box and produce a very cool STEM project to put in that iMovie. Um, it is uh, the best if you uh, go ahead and do a short video of you presenting your STEM project, talking about it. Make sure you send in that paperwork, the documentation that goes with it. But the video is a nice addition to that because the kids uh, really get a chance to see you put it in action. So um, that is all of your agenda today. So make sure that you get your addition and subtraction page done. Make sure that you get your quiz, uh, quizzes of the Southeast region done, and then get those STEM projects turned into me today. Um, you've had all week to work on those, so I'm looking forward to seeing those come in. All right, Phoenix, now we're to the main event. Now, Phoenix and I are very proud of you guys because you worked really hard to get perfect attendance all four days, Monday through Thursday. You made it happen, and I got some really, really good assignments turned into me. I'm continuing to see good assignments and uh, excellent effort put towards those assignments. Keep that up, guys. Keep getting better and better as time moves along. We've got a few more weeks left of school, plenty of learning left to do. So, for the next week... We're going to come up with a new challenge, all right? And I put on here, um, you know, today's pie face day. You guys did it. Way to go. We are so very proud of you, and we are doing this for you because you earned it. Hopefully, you get some good laughs out of it and um, some good entertainment as well. But I'm going to let you guys help me come up with the next STEM pro uh, the next uh, challenge, okay? Sorry, not STEM, but the next challenge um, for next week. So in this post... You are going to make a comment, your idea of a challenge. It can be um, anything that you think would be funny or cool for me and Phoenix to do or something you would like to see me do. Um, a, a kind of a quick example is that there's a, um, oh, about a four or five foot fence across the street um, that I would be more than willing to try to jump over without touching it or attempt to if I can do that without biting the grass, but that's just an idea of something that maybe you would like to see me do, something cool, um, but I would be more than willing to uh, try that challenge, jump completely over a fence vertically um, without touching it, uh, and so it might be something cool to see. What do you think, Phoenix? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> so, just some ideas. Drop a comment below. I want to see everybody commenting on this post with some ideas, all right? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get to this pie face action. Are you ready, sir? Oh. You better get ready to eat some whipped cream. I'm going to close my eyes. I'll go first, all right? You're going to get pie face. All right, let's do this. Guys earned it, so 
I'm happy to do it for you. Keep working hard. We'll do more fun stuff like this. <laughs> Are you ready to get my face? No, but let me have it. <laughs> Super proud of you guys. Keep up the good work and uh, let's make it another great week next week. Until then, stay tuned. Be thinking of that next challenge. What do you say? And as Phoenix would always say, work hard and don't get sloppy. Our faces are sloppy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them bye. Bye bye. See you next time. <laughs>